What's up, everybody? We're back again. Uh, you can actually see the pl uh, the moon in the background. We have another level loaded up. There's a couple up there, but only one of them is available right now. It's a long story. Um, this one was from... I gotta bring up the names. If you hear loud music, I'm sorry. I was watching uh, American Gladiators. I wanted to rebuild my... At least touch up a little bit the... Uh, um, I can't think of the game. Mag Minecraft version. I want to touch that a little bit. I, I, I like the Eliminator I have. I just want to change. I don't like there being two Travelators. The, uh, the waterfall climbs you have to do. Uh, but... Until then, I'm going to say this was Average Anderson, until I can find it. Uh, yeah, Average Anderson. This took two weeks to make. Luckily, half of some of the rooms were already in, already in there. One of, the two, uh, one of the rooms I have never done before. So, uh, so that's, uh, going to be a challenge to see. Uh, -huh. uh we see we got a planet, we got this, this, that's just a backup for that one. Just because I need stuff from it, that's, uh, something else I'm working on. And that I just, oh, excuse me. I didn't realize we can put extra levels in here. So our little, I want to say it looks like a dragon, kind of. Well, kind of looks like an Aztec dragon when you look, think of it. But we're not worrying about this right now. We're going to go right here. We are looking at the Broken Sword. Yeah, I, don't, I forgot I was going to do that. The Broken Sword of Beowulf. See, it's sitting nice in its, uh, in its, um, frame on the, what was it? The um, revival of Legends. I don't know if you guys have watched that at all. It, it gives me a throwback to the uh, the, the broken sword of uh, Heaven of Susano. I think that's how you pronounce his name. It, it gives me, it makes me think of that a little bit when I was making this one. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna hop right on in. I hope this works. I don't feel like having to rebuild. I'll show you guys what it looks like, and then what, um, uh, well, I'll show you the, uh, everything else afterward, like, like I said, because everything's built through this game now, I can finally record, and then, I can record while talking to you guys, and then, actually show you what's been made, so, we go over to Olmec, hello, I am Olmec, there are many treasures lost within my temple, and today you'll be in search of the broken sword of Beowulf, which can be found in the treasury of golden orbs. If you wish to know the rooms and the challenges that lie ahead, grab the Pendant of Life. It still does that, I don't know why, but you can still see our two pendants and our captured icon. But for now, I uh, stepped on my lunch. Let's see what rooms are. Oh, I didn't fix the cameras, but I'm sorry. You can start by climbing through the ledges. Then you can enter the wheel room. Turn the wheel to raise this rock slab and race into the room of harmonic convergence. Stand on the proper step. And you can go up into Medusa's lair. Or into the Jester's Court. Press yourself against the correct the right wall painting and you could enter the Dark Forest. But beware the top oh, it does that again with this fucking room. Yeah, grab, find the key or plow through the stone wall into the well. You may climb up the ladder or jump in the bucket and rise up into the viper's nest. Pull the snakes from snake from the jar and you could enter. The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. Assemble a statue and pass into the treasury of golden orbs, where you can grab the broken sword and find a crack orb and pedestal. You can race up into the... Oh, I fucked that up. And run up into the, uh, run up the stairs to the observatory. Spin the sundial, and you'll be able to run across the trouble bridge. Oh, God. Then pass through the crypt. Race down the stairs and back through the temple gates. The choices are yours and yours alone. Good luck. Holy fuck, Olmec. What the hell did you make me do? Like for real, that was that went by so quickly. Holy shit! 
So if you didn't catch any of that, uh, the whole upper floor, uh, the whole upper floor was the Viper's Nest, the Shrine of the Silver Monkey, the Treasury of Golden Orbs, the Observatory with the Sundial, across the Trouble Bridge, through the Crypt, down the stairs. Yeah, I know, Sackboy, I know, I'm sorry. I was not expecting him to do that. I don't know what I'm about. Oh, you also saw the uh, the bucket rise up in the well room like they used to do in the first season where they would show the elevator going up. Yeah, I know you want to go, Sackboy. I know Stop scratching yourself, Sackboy. I need to go back to bed. Like, holy shit. All right, so I'm going to follow the, the trail Anderson gave. If you've read the comments, you already know what we're doing. How dare you cheat? But... I guess that's our three-second timer sound effect, but... Now on your mark. Get set. Go! And then little sack boy, he is off into the temple. Which way is he going to go? He, oh, he's going to go up into the crypt. Oops. You already grabbed that one, dude. Oh, some, oh, oh there he goes. He's going to go across the trouble bridge. Cut the trouble bridge to try to go for the observatory that opens. Well, I gotta fix that a little bit. I don't know why I was letting it look right into the Deuce's lair. But we're doing observatory. Can the door immediately open? The door immediately open? Nope. What opened? Oh, he went, he's going down into the Deuce's lair. The Deuce's lair, so he's gonna have to jam the snakes into the head. Get both snakes in. He's gonna unlock the door. And he unlocks the door. What does it go? Oh, he's gotta go down into the room of Harmonic Convergence. Oh, and a Temple Guard appears and takes his pendant. Oh, Sackboy seemed a little out of uh, what to do there. Oop, that did something. Now he's going to the, uh, to the Justice Court. Yeah, he's got to press him something up for a ball pit. I really got to fix some of these steps in here. Because this is just a little too, uh, funky. Well, we found these in the dark forest. We've got to find the key. Find the key or he's got to bust through the wall. Oh, Temple Guard! He's captured! He found the key, though! Sorry, let's go look into the temple now. He's going through the crypt. He's got about a minute, five seconds left. If this guy can get off the wall. Come on, come on, stupid. Let's go. All right, down the stairs. He's going across the trouble bridge into the observatory. 55 seconds left. Oh, boy. I don't have much hope here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I just realized we're going to have to put together a... We're also going to have a uh, monkey to put together. He's into the, uh, into the justice court. Going, try to go into the dark forest. He's gonna get off the damn wall. There he goes. He's in the dark forest. No, it doesn't open. Oh, he's got to go into the well room. Oh, Temple Guard! Temple Guard in the well! No, the door does not open. He's got to take the elevator up. And he's going to be stuck in the viper's nest. When the, when the elevator stops. Almost at perfect timing. Almost perfect timing when the elevator stops. Let's see if, uh, let's just figure out where it is. Nope. No snake. What do you think it is? Nope. Pull the snake out of the jar. So when I was reading this, the first thing I said was, what in the bullet-riddled handbag did you want me to do, dude? Oh, I gotta fix that. God, Christ.
hallway. I just realized something. I got it, and I'm leaving the temple. Who am I? If you watch Legends, who am I? <laughs> I'm that kid from... Oh, that's right. So if you hear that, that buzzing, that is the uh, that blue gas. When you get caught by your second guard, the blue gas falls down and uh, incapacitates you. It sends you back to the start. And then here's our real wheel room we didn't have to go through. Yeah, you're still here. I gotta, I gotta see if I can show off the sounds for that. But I forgot we can also go. Th unlike, unlike the original where this door was inactive, it's such a big room we can have that open. And we should go through here. And there should be no music, no victory, because we failed. We didn't even get the object. We all we got was the RC car. Oh, Sackboy, don't feel bad. You got so many trips to space camp. All these trips to, like, these cruises like to the Bahamas, to Roseland Ranch. Get over it, Sackboy. So I'm going to go into create mode. Now we're going to go into create mode. We're going to show, uh... I'm just going to show a couple things for starters. For starters, that's what... If the piston was available, well, it was seen, you could actually hear it. But since we have it on, uh, we can, we can switch this to show what it's going to look like in game mode. You don't hear a thing. But we can also switch that, if we had it in there, to mute it as well. I just like to leave that on because I can hear it and make sure it's still running. Let's pause this real quick. Um, one thing before we go to the wheel room, so I can show you how that works. Oh yeah, I'm like, what the hell is that block? Going? So as you saw, we had we had our temple guards here. Uh, this is the, this is the exact route that uh, Anderson, average Anderson, gave me. I'm gonna see our justice courts back. I I I should fix this. I'm gonna probably fix this up a little bit. I'm probably gonna add some little blocks right here on the sides, just so you can jump in easier. And I gotta figure out a way to. Yeah, I can jump off that into there. I gotta figure out a little something, something to do with that one. Um, what was the episode? Uh, the episode was uh, Golden Earn. I think yeah, the Golden Earring of Henry Morgan. And in that course, the Temple Guard emerged from the mine shaft, and you saw the uh, the hazard tape going across the side. <laughs> so I threw that. In, I had to throw that in there as a little like Easter egg. As you can now see. Um, but to begin with, I'm going to bring this back up. Look at all this wiring again. So when we go through our, uh, our um, temple rundown, this camera will activate this timer. And when that activates, when this clock runs up to its lot of time, it triggers. Oop, passed it. These two boxes, which are invisible in play mode, it triggers them to pull into each other. This one's um, sta uh, static. All right, static, is that the word? Yeah, static. Let's see, I teach ropes. I should know these words. Static and dynamic. This one's uh, free-flowing, free dynamic. This one's static. Stay still. The more you learn. Do do do. Uh, that camera uh, was it when that timer runs up that triggers this piston pull up it pulls that rope up on this little box that's also uh, has that thing on it so we'll do that in game mode so you can see it. it's attached to the switch it'll pull it up make the uh, make the bucket go up with the uh, with it with the camera to show everything off once you hit the top of the staircase once it's the top staircase right here, not only does this make the music go down, so you don't repeat it. If we, uh, if this ever goes back up, and I upload it, it'll make the music retract down this little pipe right here. Little pipe system I made through the stairs. It'll retract all the way down here, so it won't be activated again. You can't trigger it 
if you want to go back through and look through the temple for all the little stuff that was made. Um, the same thing happens. That will pull this one. When, that, when you get to that top step, it will pull this one down. So if you had watched the video, it will reset the bucket for you. That will reset the bucket. When you walk in here, this, when you walk past this little sensor, that sensor actually destroys all three. It will destroy this. What do I do with that one? Okay, I got double that. But it went up and it came back down. That's all I care about right now. Oh, you know what? That's why I'm an idiot. So. Which one is it now? Join me as we look as, as we look through this. Oh, okay. Now I know. So when you open the temple gate, that's what makes the bucket go back down. When you hit this spot, that destroys that spot. So it won't affect it. If you go up the elevator, it won't keep it from going back down. Whereas when this camera is activated, it destroys, it will do, trigger one of these destroyers to break that so it will be free to go back down. And then when you hit here, it destroys not only this block, this block and this block right here that you can't see until I move that thing. This block right there. So all three will disappear, meaning that that's then a free lever. You don't have to worry about anything. Nothing will destroy it or affect it from going up or down. You're good to go. Um. Our treasury gold orbs is back. I'm not a fan of how I made this. I feel like I made this area, the uh, treasury room and the justice court areas. I feel like these rooms are a little bit too big for me. I feel like they should be not cut in half, but at least shrunk a little bit. But I just don't feel like going back through the mechanics of this game to redo that. Um, Medusa's Lair is a redo. Um... I used to have like the uh, uh, the giant like cobra heads that were sticking out of head. You gotta put those in, but I can't find that sticker anymore. If it's in there, I'm fucking missing it. I mean, oh god, the mother f that I found it, but it's fine because I like these. Th they look more normal now. That was not. I swear, those were not popping up the last time I went through here. I went through S for snake. C for Cobra, S, uh, H for Hiss. And I couldn't find the damn thing. I searched every last row. Couldn't find the son of a bitch. <sighs> but I don't want to drive. Yeah, I gotta go out. I'm heading out of town for birthday parties and football games, so we gotta finish this up quickly. Oh, that's some. Um... The dial on the sundials, nothing's really been done about it. It's the same, what is this, beveled concrete, the same dark brass. The only thing I different was that I made the, I made the little uh, plate that the, uh, the sundial sits on. I made it look a little bit like uh, uh, a little more fancier looking. Literally, it, was, it used to be just a square or a diamond. I, I turned it another 45 degrees and added another one. So now it's, it looks like that. It looks like that little star-like figure. But this is the room I'm going to show off because I'm going to show you right now. Alright. So, this door does not open. As you can already tell. You can see we got a bridge. We only have one actuator. So the door for... Since there's only one actuator, the door from the... Uh, the pit... The wheel room to the uh, Medusa's Lair does not open, which is on a show. 
And now, um, I don't want to say this. This took this took a while to figure out, uh, but I finally did. Uh, as you can see, we got a rope here. Oop. That should be hungered down. I don't know why it's not. Oh yeah, so I ruined half of it. So you can see there's a little thing right here. That's a, what is it? A piece of like a tire. It's some rubber. In fact, it's this. Yeah, tire tread. Sometimes as you walk up this wheel, it activates... The, uh, the keys will hit this, and there's a little counter down below. It count, uh, one counts up to one, one comes up to two, one counts up to three. They all activate. So when you hit a certain amount, these invisible pistons and blocks will pull up the, uh, the block. So instead, it looks like the rope's pulling it up, kind of like on the shell. And then we got the giant box right here to prevent you from jumping. Oh boy, that was that was not what I wanted to do. So it prevents you from trying to jump down there, trying to cheat. Like, I don't want to do this room. And we skip. Nope, can't go down there. Can't jump out from down here. Can't jump over the walls. Anything. So what is that hissing? So I have no idea, but so I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you how this works real quick, um, and I'll do it with the uh, stuff on so you can see. So you hop in the wheel. You, the wheel is grabbable, even though it's metal. You can grab it. You're gonna jump. You know, you just jump, climb. Oop! Why did it stop? Let's not touch it. Oh, is this uh, too close? Come on. There we go. So watch. First key hits it, it goes up a little bit. Second key hits it, it goes up a little bit more. When the third key hits it, it goes up all the way. That piston, uh, that piston rises. The block stops. It stops the wheel. You can't move the wheel anymore. Now I'm messing with it. I'm probably going to break it. Probably won't run again. At the same time, if if the object's grabbed and you don't go through that room, same thing applies. This little box right here overrides everything. When this box right here is triggered, it will destroy this block, which means no more penance will pop up, no more capture will pop up. It will destroy these blocks, which will completely negate any and all temple guards. And we got some uh, or gates or X or gates or gates. So long story short is when one's activated, if this one goes first, it goes through here, it will trigger the sound, it will trigger the wave to go into there and trigger that to pull up. But if the object grabbed, it will trigger this one and it will still trigger the object to go up. Basically, long story short is I can go through this. Let's say we go through this room. We go through this room. Complete the objective, keep going through, grab the object, come back out through this room. That stone slab will not lower, no matter what. But it will push this up as well and keep you from doing the wheel as well. Like somebody ran up the wheel for you. However they did on Legends, I don't know. But there was a few times they went, they never told you how that happened. They never showed you how it happened. Somebody goes, what was it? Uh, who was one of them? Fudge. Um, uh, Lawrence of Arabia's headdress. They didn't go through the uh, 
the wheel room, they went across the Trouble Bridge. And when he came out, he went past the wheel, climbed up the mount, climbed up the wall, when exited uh, the uh, the cave of size that way. But you never saw the slab go up. So how do they do it? Well, that's how we do it, though. And then Olmec, your item comes out here if you grab it. That's all still the same. Everything's still the same in here. Well, I feel there was someone had a fix, but fuck it, I'll do it later because I have shit to do today, guys. So, uh, where can I land? So if you like what you see here today, uh, please like, share, comment. Oh, I almost made it to the end. Why would you put your hand on the invisible wall? There you go. So if you like what you see here today, uh, just like, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to see more of this, please leave some comments about some temple ideas you'd like to have. As you can see, that thermometer over there in the corner. Jesus Christ, my wrist is broken. Oh, poor sack boy. Oh, Timmy. Uh, that, that thermometer over there shows you how much stuff uh, can go into level before it overheats and I can't do anymore. We are, this is at about maybe, we'll say that's about 90% right now, give or take. Um, yeah, just give me some ideas for some legend stuff. Um, if you if you have ideas for maybe a room I can do in uh, Minecraft Legends, I can replace one of those rooms with one of your guys' ideas. Because I'm honestly out of ideas for that one as well. Uh, let me know that. I can try to build it. We can try to put it in there. Uh, again, Legends. Legends, Guts, Double Dare. They are open. If you want to try to... If you want to send a message or a comment, we can set something up for you guys to tackle either the Temple or the Aggro Crag or the Slopsicle Course or even the Revive Temple. You saw, the last, you saw one of the last videos. That we have a revived temple set up. We have episodes already written. I have questions written. We're good to go. All right. Until then, I'm going to go shower and get ready for this weekend. Everybody take care. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Sackboy. Oh, I can't. I'm creative. Well, fuck it. Bye, guys.